Drones can be toys, tools for airborne races, spy gadgets, or used to film aerial footage. It's up to you. But the fact is that they're amazing and offer a ton of fun. Now, most high-quality drones cost above $1,000, which dissuades a lot of people. If you're looking for quality and don't want to spend a fortune, take a look at our selection of the top 5 budget drones in 2020. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get started. Budget drones might appear to some as toys, but don't be fooled as most of them come supplied with pretty advanced features and settings, such as for example, Snapton's S5C. We've decided to start off our review with this model mainly because it glides with blazing speed, packs superb gravity control, and it's as durable as they come. First and foremost, Snaptain's S5C is designed in a very intuitive, user-friendly way. It can take off with a simple push of a button and lands in the same fashion. Furthermore, it's also packed with various modes, including voice control. You will be able to input voice-based commands to make your new drone fly a certain way, perform flips, 360-degree spins, and even barrel rolls. Just like most high-quality drones, S5C is outfitted with a remarkable camera. However, what really sets it apart from the rest is the fact that it sports an 80-meter range, giving you a clear overview of pretty much everything below. What most people seem to like about this drone is its instant streaming capability. You'll be able to easily edit and upload your footage directly to social media via a smartphone, as it's compatible with basically all smart devices, tablets, phones, and such. Although the S5C doesn't have a built-in storage on board, it does come supplied with a miniature SD card that can store all your photos and clips. We really liked the fact that this drone is as durable as it is. Namely, it's made of top-shelf ABS material that ensures superb durability and longevity, making the drone almost impervious to shock and physical damage. However, it's not indestructible, so you should still pay attention not to run it into the ground to test its sturdiness. Lastly, S5C packs an integrated G-sensor that provides it with the ability to adjust its vertical, horizontal position with elegance. You'll have access to all of its main functions via Snaptain's Era application that you can download on the Android application market. Overall, it's one hell of a drone, especially considering how low its price tag is. Next up is Potenzix A20, our pick for the best kids drone. Essentially, this particular model costs roughly the same as an average Barbie doll or an action man figurine, but it offers other benefits aside from sheer affordability. Knowing that kids can never have enough fun, Potenzik supplied their A20 mini drone with two detachable batteries that can last for quite a bit. The batteries are rechargeable, and you'll also receive a USB charger as a complimentary gift. Moreover, the batteries are neatly positioned in a safe location where children cannot reach them. The A20 mini drone itself is pretty small and light. Its dimensions measure 3.1 inches by 1.25 inches by 3.5 inches, and it weighs barely 6.7 ounces. Despite its small size, and toy-like design, this drone actually performs great for the buck. It sports three selectable speed levels, and even though it can't blaze the skies in the same fashion as Snaptain's S5C, it's decently fast. The selectable speeds allow your children to roleplay in various ways. They can pretend the drone is a cargo plane carrying precious treasures across the sky. The mid-speed is perfect for recon and scouting missions, while the fastest speed setting is obviously for racing, whether it's competing against other kids or racing the clock. The options are there. One of the most important things, as well as the main reasons why this drone is so perfect for kids, is that it's incredibly easy to use and boasts an intuitive, user-friendly design. The package includes a neat little joystick outfitted with plain, straightforward controls. The two sticks are used for movement controls and navigation. There's the Altitude Dock button on the left side and the On-Off button on the right side. Last but certainly not least, this remarkable model is actually pretty durable for a mini drone. It's made of sturdy ABS plastic materials and will last you for years with proper use and maintenance. At the end of the day, toy drones typically have quite a bit of limitations, but the same cannot be said for Potenzik's A20 mini drone. It's highly versatile and laden with top quality features, so if you're looking for a gift for your little guy or girl, this might be the best choice. The budget section of the drone has its own fragments, in terms of the lower end, mid-range, and higher end. Here we have DJI's Mavic Mini Drone, which is our pick for the best mid-range budget drone you can sport in 2020. Given the fact that you're obviously going to pay a bit more, you should raise your expectations accordingly, and Mavic Mini will deliver. 
This drone is one of the best performing models whose performance can easily go toe to toe with a lot of mid price models, and even certain boutique ones. One of the best things about Mavic Mini is that it's incredibly compact, petite, and practically weightless. Once folded, its dimensions measure 5.5 inches by 3.2 inches by 2.2 inches. It's barely larger than an average size smartphone. It weighs approximately 8.78 ounces despite the fact that it's packed with a ton of quality and slightly heavier features and hardware. 30 minutes of total flight time will probably not be enough for you to have as much fun as you want, but considering that the average time is around 20 minutes, we dare say that Mavic Mini performed pretty well in this field. Now, let's jump over to its main features. Mavic Mini Drone is capable of taking 12 megapixel photos and videos in 2.7K HD. What's more, it packs a 3-axis motorized gimbal that offers unparalleled camera stability, ensuring vibrant, clear footage at all times. You'll also receive a variety of free accessories that further boost the value this drone offers for the buck, including a snap adapter, a mini bag, and a do-it-yourself creative kit. The adapter goes hand in hand with the DIY kit, allowing you to customize your drone's looks, performance, or both. The mini bag is not so small as it offers enough space for a drone, all of its accessories, and then some. Overall, saving up a little more money will definitely give you more options and substantially better benefits. DJI's Mavic Mini is well worth every single cent from an objective standpoint. It's small, light, fast, and superior in the field of versatility. Some people need a little more time to get accustomed to the way drones function and to the nearly limitless possibilities they offer. If you haven't used a drone before and feel slightly dissuaded to try one out fearing that you wouldn't get the hang of it, we suggest that you stick around for a bit and check out Holy Stone and what they have to offer. Apart from being one of the largest drone manufacturers, Holy Stone's arsenal of gliding mini bots also includes quite a few models that were tailor-made for beginners. A great example of that is the HS100. If we compare the Holy Stone HS100 drone to our previous picks, we will easily notice that this model is undoubtedly bigger. Its dimensions measure 16.9 inches by 16.9 inches by 6.9 inches. Of course, it weighs a bit more in turn, 1.73 pounds, but it's still within the bounds of being lightweight. Obviously, this drone was purposefully designed in such a way, and there are two benefits to be reaped just from its design alone. First is the increased visibility. You'll be able to spot your drone more easily if you're not using a smartphone, and you'll be able to navigate the skies in a smoother fashion because of it. Secondly, its big frame accords it increased wind resistance. Now, as for the reason why this drone is so good for beginners, we should take a few steps back and compare it to our best kids drone, the Potenzic A20. Notice how both of these drones come with similar controllers? Of course, the controller HS100 is outfitted with looks a bit more serious, but essentially they're packed with the same features, altitude hold, one key takeoff, landing in headless mode. This drone can take 2K videos and sports 120 degree field of view, as well as 18 minutes of total flight time. Even though this is slightly below average, it's great for a beginner drone. Our last pick is the heavily acclaimed Rises Tello drone. This drone comes supplied with features that are so advanced that most people would be puzzled how did such a high quality model manage to stumble into the budget section of the market. Tello is pretty fast, as it can reach up to 17.9 miles per hour with ease. Of course, it also packs a variety of useful features that will help you control this daredevil. Some of its built-in functions are the range finder, the barometer, and the enhanced vision system. It's also compatible with VR headsets. Instead of powering it on, Tello becomes active as soon as you toss it up. Another peculiar thing about Tello is that it is not operated by a dedicated controller unit. It's operated by your smartphone. Your screen is your joystick, basically, so you can be as creative as you want with it. Its dimensions measure 3.9 inches by 3.6 inches by 1.6 inches when folded, and it weighs 8.1 ounces approximately. This means that it's pretty small, portable, and lightweight. However, there are a couple of things that we thought could be improved. Namely, this drone can't fly for long. Namely, its maximal flight time is around 13 minutes, which is way below average. Even so, it's perfect for killing boredom and shooting some quality aerial pictures and clips. Although Tello does have some room for improvements, it also offers a plethora of unique, exquisite features, which is just one of the many reasons why we think it's one of the best budget drones in 2020. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.